This next story includes a video you might find tough to watch, showing police officers in deadly situations. Hostility toward cops is something departments say is going up all over the country. As KOET Action 7 News anchor Sasha Leninger shows us, it's happening here as well. It's hard to watch. But this... I've been hit, I've been hit in pursuit. ...is a reality for cops in New Mexico. We are struggling um, because we are constantly uh, facing public scrutiny. That turned into aggression when we started seeing those unprovoked attacks. State police officer Darian Jarrett shot and killed during a traffic stop in February. September 2020, officer Sharon Duran shot in both hands also during a traffic stop. Here she is minutes later explaining what happened to another cop. I didn't even get up to the vehicle, man. I, I got to the side and he, I just seen the gun. And deputies at a shooting in July being yelled at. This is a crime you I'm advising you. I don't, you don't get this is a crime. I don't give a f about you or what the f you talking about for asking someone to not walk through the crime scene. Year over year where we were at in the United States uh, as of May, that time last year, we're at a 51% increase in fatal attacks on police. And in July, within a week, two Albuquerque police officers injured after being shot at, the bullets hitting their windshields. This is the second time in uh, a week, basically, where uh, we have bullet holes in the windshield of one of our police officers as they're doing their job. Hostility towards cops is becoming more common, and police we talked with say it's getting more aggressive. We've had instances where suspects have attempted to lure them into ambush-type scenarios. Our units being defaced, our buildings um, being destroyed, whether they're shattering the glass. Even when officers are simply going to their units to get something, they're, they're being approached by members of the public and questioning what they do. Officers say they welcome public scrutiny. It comes with a job, one of the only jobs that requires a camera 24 seven. And over the past couple of years, they've received a lot of it. It's the actions of certain officers that we are constantly being compared to. Do police make mistakes? Of course they do. But you can't have a free functioning society in America without law enforcement. It's no surprise finding people wanting to be cops is not so easy anymore. Not only is it more dangerous, but they say officers aren't respected as much nowadays. There was a, a middle aged woman watering. Um, it was just dirt. I don't know what she was watering, but she was watering something in her front yard. And as she looked up, she saw my vehicle approaching and she mouthed some expletives and hosed my car down as I drove by. But is the risk of being a cop worth the reward? They say yes. We're here to do our job. We're here to make the make the community safe. And at the end of the day, we want to make sure everybody goes home to their family. And they say you just learn to have thick skin and not to take the hostility personally. Those people are the minority. And don't let those individuals color how you view the rest of society. Because at the end of the day, as their motto goes, law enforcement is here to protect and serve. At the end of the day, I will still continue to de dedicate myself to my career and to the members of New Mexico. No matter what. Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News. A poll conducted last year by Police One and Calibre Press asked 10,000 cops across the country if they would recommend a family member to join the force, but only 7% said yes.